Hello viewers! In today's video, I'll be reviewing two Ryobi gas pressure washer surface cleaner. With these attachments, you can clean your patio or driveway very quickly. You can do the cleaning in about a quarter of the time compared to using a regular spray nozzle. The one on the left is a 15 inch surface cleaner and the one on the right is a 16 inch surface cleaner. Now one more feature the 16 inch surface cleaner has are four caster wheels which will make maneuvering very easy. Without wheels on a 15 inch surface cleaner, you will have to put more effort in pushing it forward and back. At the top is where you connect the spray wand and you can pivot this, I'll turn this around. Here you see the two spray nozzles and if I measure this, it's 11 inch from one nozzle to the other. Now the reason they're calling this a 15 inch surface cleaner is because when it sprays out, the water will come out and widen, giving you a 15 inch cleaning path. And it does the cleaning by spinning this very fast. Also, you'll notice there's a brush guard around the edge. When you use this, you're pushing and pulling on the surface. With a Ryobi 15 inch surface cleaner, the recommended PSI is 2500 to 3300. Now let's take a look at this 16 inch surface cleaner. Again in the middle, this is where you connect the wand and there are four caster wheels here. And this gray surface is rubber padded. Now turn this around. Now I'll measure the width of the two nozzles and it's 13 inch. And just like the other one, this spins. Now this also has a brush guard around the edge. So if you look at the caster wheel, it's raised slightly higher than a brush. And that's how it's able to glide around on the surface. Now this is made for gasoline pressure washer. Also the recommended PSI is 2700 to 3700 PSI. The gas pressure washer I'll be using is a Simpson 3000 PSI 2.4 gallons per minute pressure washer. Here I'll be cleaning my back patio. As you can see there's a lot of mildew, it's very dirty. Now to show you the difference in cleaning, I'll first use a 25 degree spray nozzle, then I'll switch to the Ryobi 15 inch surface cleaner, followed by the Ryobi 16 inch surface cleaner. On the left side, I clean it with a regular spray nozzle and the width of that is about 6 to 7 inch. Also you can't go very fast, so it takes a lot longer. The middle one is a 15 inch surface cleaner. It was able to clean a wider path much quicker. And on the far right is a 16 inch surface cleaner with the wheels. As you notice, the line is not as straight, but that's because with the wheels, they tend to move around a lot easier. But I can tell you it takes no effort in moving it around. As you can see, both the 15 inch and 16 inch surface cleaner work equally well at cleaning. Now I'll go ahead and clean this entire surface using the 16 inch surface cleaner. I'll also time how long it'll take me to clean the surface. As you can see, the cleaning took only four minutes. Here's what it looks like next day. As you can see, it's very clean. Well, both of them work very well at cleaning, but with a 16 inch cleaner, you do have a wider cleaning path and the four caster wheels definitely make the job very easy. But I want to share with you these great tools that will help clean your driveway 
or back patio. Now the retail price on the 15 inch surface cleaner is $88 and the 16 inch is $160. I personally think the extra cost of a 16 inch is worth it, but I'll let you decide. Both of these can be picked up from homedepot.com, so check out their website. If you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. To support this channel, remember to click on thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.